Yo, what up guys? Welcome back to Sneaker Stories. As always, I'm your host, Chris Jack. Today, we are checking out arguably one of my favorite releases for 2019 to date, and it comes courtesy of a collaboration between Saucony, Sneaker Politics, and a famous cafe out of New Orleans called Cafe Du Monde with their take on the Shadow 5000. Let's check it out. All right, so before we get into the shoe, a little bit of a backstory on how this collab has come about and where the inspirations are drawn from. Sneaker Politics is a footwear and apparel retailer out of the United States with a couple of branches spread across the country. Uh, and they've drawn some inspiration from one of the oldest, if not the oldest cafe in the States out of New Orleans, Cafe Du Monde, who's been around since 1862, uh, providing the Americans with really good coffee. Uh, but specifically something that they're famous for is bringing a French pastry called a beignet. Yeah. Beignet, bayonet, big something, beignet, that's apparently how you pronounce it, which is a French sort of deep fried donut kind of pastry with a whole bunch of icing sugar on it. Uh, and they obviously sell this mix and stuff as well uh, that they're famous for. Uh, but that's basically provided the palette or at least the color palette for this particular shoe um, and obviously some detailings throughout. And then also there are some touch points uh, which we'll get to later in the review uh, where they've pulled direct color inspiration from the fit out of the cafe itself. So without further ado, moving on to the shoe and starting underneath with the outsole, as always, uh, you've got the standard Saucony outsole here, which is a retro XD600 outsole done in this beautiful green. The green coloring here is also represented from Cafe Du Monde's outside awnings. And there are some other touch points on that particular coloring, uh, which we'll get to later. The midsole here, is just an EVA midsole as far as I can see uh, and then stepping it into the upper this is where things get absolutely unbelievable in terms of its material mix up and just the quality of everything on here like having these in hand is an experience like when I opened the box uh, at Shelf Life when I picked these up uh, just last Saturday I think it was um, I was really really blown away by how good they are in hand uh, and material wise you do have a very short hair suede here it feels super premium and uh, you do have the Saucony logo uh, which is been debossed into the leather over here and then just above that in another tone of brown leather you do have the three holes here with the s that's been stitched around those uh, for Saucony as well and then as you see moving further to the laces you've got a whole bunch of white speckling here which is symbolic of the icing sugar that they put on top of the beignets uh, which is a really really nice detail I love how well that has been done and how well it just translates in terms of a color gradient uh, from top to bottom of that particular section of leather the base layer of the upper is of course a mesh and that is done in a very light tan color which obviously just complements the tritone vibe that's going on here with the different browns and then adding a massive contrast to the coloring of the brown tones you've just got this flat white mesh tongue uh, and on this particular shoe you do have a politics logo that is done in green once again tying up with the outsole coloring of the shoe uh, and then on the other shoes you do have the cafe du monde logo right here that says established in 1862 also with the green text on a white back here. swinging around into the heel section of the shoe you do have Saucony's logo done in that forest green embroidery and that's set upon this light tan suede in the heel section of the shoe moving to the insoles of the shoes these are absolutely unbelievable as i spoke about that awning earlier with the green and white stripes uh, you've got both dual logos of Saucony and politics over here uh, with the awning stripes just above that on the insole all in all just tying all of these colors together and really implementing the inspiration uh, for this particular pair from Cafe Du Monde. Just before I show you one of my favorite features which is the box I want to just show you the two different sets of laces you get here both are rope laces one is a white and green speckle and the other is a brown and white speckle so you can obviously change those up as you see fit with this particular shoe otherwise they are just standard flat white laces with green aglets on the end of them uh, which are provided with the shoes themselves. All right, so one of the coolest things which really stood out for me with this particular release was this complete custom box here, which plays complete homage to Cafe Du Monde's beignet mix. Uh, so much so, this is literally the identical box you get with all the flour and stuff like that, which you need to make the beignets. You do obviously have Sneaker Politics logo on there as well. Uh, and then when you swing it around to the back of the box, you've got the mix recipe here on how to make those beignets. 
uh, which I think is just such an awesome touch. Uh, even if you like don't have the actual like ingredients from them or the mix, you can actually still just kind of make this yourself. Now these for me are really, really comfortable. And I think a lot of that comfort is coming in with this really, really thick and padded insole that you get. Uh, if I just put it like that, you can see just how much extra padding is applied to that. But the shoe, the makeup and the quality on this particular pair is just so good that they are really, really good on foot and comfortable in my opinion. From a price perspective, these did land here for 2,599 Rand. Um, we're only available at shelf life in very limited quantities that's it if you do want these and can't get your size locally at retail they are sitting at around 140 dollars on places like StockX before shipping and customs and all things like that there is actually a friends and family version of this particular shoe which has a white upper it looks like that and that is sitting at around 450 500 dollars uh, if you do prefer that particular colorway uh, but that obviously did not release uh, locally here it was limited to the new orleans sneaker politics store uh, for the first i think it was 60 customers i'm not actually too sure but they were very a limited amount of that pair as well uh, but this one for me i think is actually the better of the two uh really really love what's going on with this pair really stoked that i managed to get them here at retail just considering how limited they were but that's pretty much it for this review if you guys do have any further questions on this particular pair please drop them in the comments below also the back wall behind me today has a whole bunch of shoes that we still haven't reviewed so let me know which one of these you want to see first uh, coming up here on sneaker stories reviews right here on youtube uh, but otherwise that's it from me i hope you guys have enjoyed please give the video a thumbs up if you've enjoyed it and don't forget to subscribe right here for more content like this down the line but that's it i'll catch you on the next one